Hello. And uh, I'm doing the top 10 worst Godzilla monsters. Before we start this list off, I'm doing some dishonorable mentions. Here's how this goes. I'm gonna name the I'm gonna name a couple and then I'm gonna go and then pretty much the first guy I mentioned is not is the least uh, least lame out of these guys or bad. The rest of these guys like the more the higher I go, the more high these guys suck. So Space Godzilla, Manda. Magyara, Giant Octopus, and Giant Condor. The only reason those guys aren't on the list is because they're not really official monsters. They're just... Yeah, when you're done, let's go throw that away kind of monster. So number 10. Number 10, Kumanga. He's not bad. He's not bad. Besides the fact that he's just a giant spider. But that's not really the case. Is it? Spiders don't have a giant spike out of their, uh, that comes out of their mouth, does it? And they don't shoot webs out of their mouth, do they? No. And, uh, Kumanga here. He has a pretty cool color scheme. I guess that's all I can say. He's okay. Well, he's okay. He's not bad. Number nine, Baragon. I've never seen Frankenstein versus, Go versus Baragon, so I can't talk about that really. So, um. He made the most of his appearance on GMK, which you should have done. Um, uh, you should have done Tokyo SOS instead of Mothra. It should have been Baragon. Now that would have been cool, because Baragon is definitely, without a doubt, the side monster in this movie. Even though he's pretty cute and he's pretty cool, I kind of like his roar. Even though he proves himself as nothing in, uh, go out and destroy all monsters. Literally. He proves himself as nothing. Same with Varen. They don't do anything. They just sit on the island the whole movie. <laughs> Baragon did the most he could. Yeah, good for him. Who cares? But he's cute. He's, um... He's meh. He's pretty. He's not that good. Number eight, Hedora. He's just really gross. And I don't like Hedora. Like, at all. Hedora's pretty freaking gross. And he sucks. And he's in probably one of the worst Godzilla movies ever. Uh, I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Hedora's gross. I don't like him. Yeah, that's all I can really say. Number seven, Jet Jaguar. He's more of a rip-off than a cliche. Space Godzilla's not really a cliche. Megaheros, that's a cliche. Space Godzilla is more of a copy. And, uh, didn't end well. But Jet Jaguar is, uh... Jet Jaguar's... Pretty lame. Why did they dedicate this movie to Jet Jaguar? Godzilla is literally a side monster in this movie. He's not really important to the plot. Except when uh, Godzilla needs to... Except for when Jet Jaguar needs to get Godzilla. To help fight Megalon and Gigan. Besides that... Um... Jet Jaguar, it looks like he's drawn by a five-year-old. I searched that up, and I found out that he was drawn by a kid. And then they executed him. How is it a rip-off on Ultraman, though? Really, how is it? How does, how, how does it look like Ultraman? 
He's not saving people, is he? No. He's uh he's fighting Megalon and Gigan. Which I was just about to say come for no reason, but technically they don't. Kamakuras and Kumanga and Son of Godzilla come for no reason. I don't really have the time to explain how they come. You should know it already. But um Jet Jaguar's pretty lame. Uh this is probably the second worst out of the kitty era. And God knows why. God, this movie sucks though. And Jet Jaguar is not the best. That's all I'm gonna say. And he wasn't really the best person to make a movie of. Or Varen. That is another example. Number six, Kamakaris. I like playing Magicus. I like them. They're pretty cool. And Box himself. Well, Kamakaris just looks like a cannibal, sort of. Like, um, when Godzilla finishes off the other ones, it seems like uh, Kamakaris would just play dead. And when Godzilla leaves, he would eat the remaining, the remaining of his friends, or whatever the heck those things are. But the only thing I really like about Kamakaris himself is his blade things. And when he gets killed, most people will probably say, huh? Yes, I like it when Kamakaris dies. My favorite part of Son of Godzilla is literally Godzilla is fighting Kamakaris. Bends his back backwards to Kamakaris. That's funny. Not like uh, the forced, um, not funny laugh they did with Manila and Godzilla. Killing Kamakaris is more funny than what should be funny. I don't care. Anyway, he's just a funny man. The really, really bad ones. Like, these ones are just like, oh, they're not that bad. Oh, they're, they're pretty lame. These are bad. Number five, Varen. This is by far the freaking worst in the Showa series. No, I can't say that. This is by far the worst in the Godzilla movies, in, in all the Godzilla monsters, all the way up to 1968. Well, I can't say that neither. Well, this is the worst. Well, this is the worst monster in all of the straw monsters. I'll just keep it that simple. Varen, fun fact. Did you know that Varen got a movie to himself called Varen the Unbelievable? No, I haven't seen it, but I bet it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, right? Probably. And if you've seen Varen and the Varen the Unbelievable, tell me in the comments if it's bad or if it's good. Cuz when I do see it, I need to see if it's really worth buying. Cuz if it's not, well there goes my freaking money. Probably just gonna go sell it at a store, and they're not even gonna take it. This is what I, this is what Varen. You know, let me show, show let me show you something. This is Varen right here. That was Varen. 
He has a pretty cool design. But he's pretty much equal to nothing in the show, in the Godzilla world. He's dumb. He's bad. It's just, honestly, we don't know that. We don't get to see his good side. We don't get to see his awesome side, his destroying side, his fighting side. How you should... Toho, you should make, you should, in Godzilla Resurgence, you should have him fight Varen, and Varen have Baragon on his side, and Manda, that will be a freaking awesome movie, okay, Varen sucks, he's just unimportant, yeah, number four, Zilla, this is not Godzilla, this is an iguana, that's why they called him Zilla, right? Because he sucks. And this isn't Godzilla. I don't know why they did that. But America is not really that smart for calling this, whatever the frick this is, Godzilla. Compare this monster to the last Godzilla we ever seen. In 995. No. In 994. Compare that one to this one. Don't look the same, does it? No. Zill sucks. Zill is very bad. He's, um... He's pretty much like a banana peel in this garbage, in the Godzilla series. Whew. Number three, Manila. Not including the Heisei and the Millennium series movies that he's in. Son of Godzilla and Godzilla's Revenge. Probably some of the worst movies ever. And the worst. Well, the second. Manila is a piece of trash. Really, what the frick is this? This is not Manila. I mean, this is not Godzilla. It's not the babe. It's not what Godzilla would look like if he was born again. Does it? It doesn't look like a deformed, retarded person or whatever the heck Godzilla is. Does it? No. Freaking retards. Well, I'm doing part two, and this is this is part one. Let's so watch this one first. Now the part two later. This is Maniac Man, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.